You see what's going on behind me? That is the sport of buzzkashi. It's one of the most brutal and dangerous sports in the world. It's played on horseback, and instead of using a ball, they use a headless goat. It's like the national sport of most Central Asian countries, and today we're in Tajikistan. This has the potential to be some of the weirdest, whoa, that's weird content I've ever done. Let's go take a deep dive into this clusterfuck. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Booze Kashi. The name translates literally to goat pulling, which makes sense because in order to win, you need to pull a headless goat into the end zone. And that's no easy task when upwards of a hundred other people on horseback, armed with whips, are trying to take it from you. I'm not sure what this is called in Tajik, but in English we call this, or, or I call this, the horse hurricane, because all the horses just start circling like a hurricane. Unlike a real hurricane, the eye is is not is not calm dude there's a fucking cow running through the field <laughs> the fuck everyone's in there just cranking the whip trying to reach down they gotta they gotta bend off their horse reach down pick up the goat and then get out of that madness and once you break free that's got to be a great feeling probably one of the best feelings in sports And if you do manage to get that goat through the gate, eternal glory is yours, as well as a very special prize. So these are some of the prizes you can win if you drag the goat into the circle over there. You can win a rug, you can win a camel, you can win a baby cow, and uh, you can also win like 50 bucks. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying to, trying to explain the rules of the game. That does not look like a healthy camel. One of my favorite things about the sport is just everybody has their own style. You play football, you can't really show your personal style that much. Everybody like is, has their own swag. Like this guy's got a really warm looking jacket. Another guy was wearing like a, a snow suit. A lot of people wear that to go skiing. You wear it to uh, drag goats. This is almost like a, a fashion show plus like the harshest sport known to man. I'm gonna try to move in for a close up shot. Oh, head on a swivel, head on a swivel. And you never know when someone's gonna break free. Someone could break free and fucking 80 horses come charging towards you. I looked down at my phone for a second, almost got run over by 30 hooves. Oh, fuck! I almost just got killed. Have you guys ever heard the saying, flight or fight? You either have a flight response or a fight response. Right now, I just have either a report response or abort response. I either need to run in, do some journal work, how are you feeling during the halftime break? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. alaikum salam. Or I need to get the fuck out of here because I'm about to be run over by a horse. Unlike in most sports, we soon learned that the boundaries of a Buzkashi game were open to interpretation. The sidelines in this game are very fluid. Well, if I wasn't even safe on the sidelines, I figured I might as well be watching from the goalpost. I don't even have courtside seats. I have court seats. I am, I am on the court. Fast break. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That's the goat. Holy fuck, how are they going to get that? 
hopefully someone can break free in the next few minutes or else I'm just going to be stranded on this little goal post for a while. Get it out of there, boys. Come on. Form, form an alliance. These guys need to form an alliance and get it out of there. Dude, how is anybody going to pick up that goat? It's getting pounded. There's not even... There's not even going to be a goat left in each game. Do they usually just use one goat the whole game? No. During the game, they use two or three goats. And why is that? Because you see the horse, horses are big and land is wet. They put on the goat. The goat can break. Uh, How to say? Uh, the goat literally falls apart. Yes. Fundamentals, boys, just get the goat off the ground. Scoop it up. Let's get some yag, boys. Yards after goat. I think we need like a goat clock. If you don't get the goat within 15 minutes, it gets moved out of the scrum. Not a bad idea. Care to comment, sir? Holy shit, dude. Hold up, dude, I'm right here. Dude. Holy shit! What the I fuck is going on? Oh, oh. oh there's not, not a lot of real estate on here. That's the money shot, baby. That is the money shot. Oh, man. BMX biking, parkour, rollerblading. Before today, I would have considered those extreme sports. But now I know what a real extreme sport is. The sun's out, the dust has settled, and the goats have been pulled. That, my friends, is Booz Kashi. Whoa, whoa, that's weird. Really fucking weird. Holy fucking shit.